The Assessment Careers Project aimed to enable students to make better use of the feedback that staff provide. This short video from the project team outlines what we achieved. We should see assessment um, not as something that is done to students, but as something that they engage in fully. Now, um, the reason it's called assessment careers is because we see um, the student journey as being across their program, just like instead of having a series of jobs that are un and are not connected, a career is um, a, a progression and development over time. Now this um, has two requirements. One requirement is that the curriculum is, um, is, is, um, is more holistic and, and the modules all link up. The other requirement is that feedback um, joins up in that feedback from one module can be used for the next module. The project has explored how technology can capture feedback so that it becomes easier for tutors and students to track their progress from one module to the next. At the moment we don't have systems that make that easy at all. Um, if you're a tutor you'd have to go and find um, feedback in hundreds of different places if you could find it at all in order to, to do that task, whereas the technology in theory should allow us to put all of that in one place so the tutor can just uh, open up the student's record or whatever and look across all of their module feedback and see the sorts of things that, that have been happening to them so they can have a conversation about it. We've developed a blueprint for making feedback available to staff and students over the duration of a programme. During the pilots we trialled a process of dialogue with students about feedback. What we decided to do was to develop cover sheets for the students' submissions. So on their formative submission they included a cover sheet uh, which outlined, asked them to outline issues that they had problems with in their producing their formative work, so their first submission, and then things that they felt that they needed help on from the tutors. Um, the tutors, that was a cover sheet that went on their submission, the tutors read that along with the submission itself, and then the tutors provided feedback in relation to those um, areas outlined by the student. Then on the summative submission, the student uh, produced a kind of summary of how useful they felt the feedback was and what they would kind of do in the future in relation to that work or how they might take it forward. And then again the tutor sort of responded to that and would, would have some dialogue with the student about their commentary. Most of the students did fill out the cover sheets, but they didn't all put much detail in the comments that they were giving. It was, it was clear that they hadn't engaged very much with it and they weren't used to thinking about what, what it is that they wanted feedback on. The value of learning a little bit from the students about what they wanted me to focus on as a tutor uh, was that it, it helped me sort of understand what they saw possibly as the weaknesses or areas of development of their own piece of work. Um, and so they, uh, they might say, well, could you look particularly at the research questions that I've identified? Or I'm not sure about some of the methodology, for example, this, this, this or that. I actually find it easier, not necessarily quicker, but easier to provide the feedback because I had a more of a sense that I was providing feedback to someone about something rather than just on a piece of written work. So as I, say, I was trying to say before, it kind of brought it to kind of life in some way. I mean, it probably took a little bit of extra time, but I don't think, I mean, I think that was offset by the my sense that it was a, a slightly more enjoyable thing to do that, that it had, than it had been uh, before. But we realised that the student feedback response form was only the start of a learning process for students. It was the start of a conversation and then, I, then it got me thinking about, well, where, do, where does this conversation then end? I've, I've um, got in touch with them about what they might want, they've let me know, then I've fed back, full stop. We are reviewing how we're going to continue to use the feedback sheet and how we're going to give more guidance and instructions to students about the use of formative feedback and to think about what they're going to do with formative feedback. We developed a feedback analysis tool so that we could see what type of feedback we were giving and try and provide more of what we call feed forward, that is advice students can apply in future assignments. 
However, this is just the first step. But I think we're now starting to realise that giving students lots of feedback, however high quality, isn't really the solution because that's um, keeping students um, passive and dependent on lecturers. And what we need is processes that get the students talking about feedback, peer feedback, um, self-reflections, having conversations about uh, feedback that, that continue beyond the piece of work across a whole programme. So I think the, the view of feedback has shifted in the short time of this project from feedback that's um, given out to feedback that students centre, that students engage with. The main achievement of the Assessment Careers project at the IOE has been bringing feedback out of its black box and enabling both students and staff to talk about ways to ensure feedback is central to learning.